So recently, Lightroom got an amazing new feature called Lens Blur, and everyone's asking, really cool, but can we do that in Photoshop? And the answer is yes! You can do it in Photoshop as well. So today, we're going to show you how to use the brand new AI Lens Blur feature in Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop, we got our subject looking good, and I want to separate her from the background just a little bit more. So the first thing we want to do, because we're going to use a filter, we want to turn our background layer into a smart object. So we're going to go up here to layer, we're going to go down to smart objects, and over to convert to smart object right here. Boom. You see the smart object icon right here, and we're ready to go. So where is the lens blur feature in Photoshop? Well, it's located if you go to filter, and then down to camera raw filter. Now the coolest thing is this camera raw filter is basically a carbon copy of everything we have in Lightroom. So if you love your Lightroom tools, you can get to them in Photoshop by going to camera raw filter. Boom. So let's go ahead and click there. You can see we're in camera raw and it looks really similar to Lightroom. We've got all of our settings. We even have masking. We have the remove tool. So much cool stuff. Like I can adjust my exposure. It's literally the exact same thing as Lightroom built into Photoshop. Let's double click there to reset it. There we go. Boom. Now we're going to go down and find our brand new tool. Ah, here it is. Lens blur. Open that up and we're going to click on apply right here. So go just check, check that little box and apply your lens blur. Now, here we go. We can check our blur amount for our background. I always, always, always recommend when you see your lens blur right over here, I recommend by default, it's going to do subject detection works, works really well. But I recommend going to this little target icon. This lets us set it manually. So go to that target icon and then click and drag right over your subject face. You can see I like drag the marquee over subject's face, boom. And when I let go, it automatically adjusts and makes it perfect every single time. So here we have all of these options. I can adjust my blur amount right here, okay? We can less, less or more blur, as you can see, looking pretty good. There we go. I have different types of bokeh that I can choose as well, depending on what look I want for the background. And I can even boost my highlights if I want to. You can see that that highlight there is just getting boosted. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, here you have your focal range. Of course, you can click here and kind of move it around if you want to blur your subject or just the background. You can do this. You can extend what's actually in focus or you can make it more shallow. But again, this tool right here just allows you to boop, boom, click and drag right over your subject and it's going to automatically detect. Now, the other cool thing here is you can go into your refinements. This might be closed down for you uh, like initially. So just open that up for your refinements. And then you can basically just paint in where you want to be in focus or where you want to be blurred. So I'm going to click on blur here. And then literally I just have a brush. Okay. So I can brush in and say, you know what, make sure you blur that part of our subject there. And then I can go to in focus and I can say, oh, her hair should be in focus. So let's make sure that's, you know, properly in focus there. And then I could go back to blur and I could, I can blur this as well. So I've got all this refinement that I can do right here and we're good to go. Okay. My big suggestion, if you're going to use this blur, it's amazing, but don't go all the way up here because it's not going to look real. Like you just want, you know, you want some blur, but don't go, don't go, don't go cranking it up all the way. All right. Now this looks really good. You can go ahead here with your blur. You can keep on, you know, refining it here if you want to. There we go. That looks pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and hit OK right down here. And as you can see, boom, it applies as a smart filter. So I can turn this off and on at any time. So nice. I can even go into the layer mask. For instance, if I want to zoom in and I want to hit B for my brush tool, OK, and then paint black on the layer mask, I can paint away a little bit of blur because sometimes with hair and things like this right at the edge it can get a little bit confused and it can it can make the edge of the hair like a little bit uh a little bit too strong of an edge so i like to go in with my brush tool and just paint black on the layer mask right here at the edge of the hair and this just kind of like helps me create a little bit more of a realistic look with my layer mask all right there we go and then we're just going to go ahead and paint this in right around there as well. And we're looking so, so good. Now keep in mind, because we use a smart filter, if I want to go in and edit this at any time, I can do it. 
just double click right here on camera raw filter boom and you're back into camera raw and you can see here's my lens blur and i can change the blur amount at any time so we can just bring that back and i can even like paint in where i would like to be in focus versus where i would like to be blurred so i can do this at any point in time within photoshop let's go ahead and hit okay it's going to automatically adjust and there we go so there's our lens blur available to us in photoshop we don't got to leave we don't got to go to lightroom boom with adobe camera raw you can see we get perfect lens blur every single time thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this if you did give us a big thumbs up and send me a comment of what you'd like to learn next if you want to get more free tutorials click on that subscribe button thanks again i will learn you later bye everyone